gonna let Steve work. And then here's the Mad Max Jeep. We're about to do a lot of stuff on it. We're got a bunch of bad welds from somebody I let work on it last time. So you can see it's just straight trash. So we're gonna, next step on this one is uh, after I hash me garage puts in the motor, we're gonna redo all this tubing, just chop it off and start fresh from, we're literally gonna chop the chassis off, let it fall to the ground and redo all the tubing all the way around on it. That's what it really needs. Such a badass Jeep. We're actually gonna make them look more Mad Max instead of a basic Jeep look. Put some crazy bumper on it or something. Who knows? These, uh, I didn't account for the fact that this one was wider than that one. And so I had to add this to it so I could pull it What do you mean that ends wider? Huh? What do you mean that end? Oh, this here. Oh, the little, the little yeah. corner, the little teardrop there? Yeah, the corner. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Gotta clean it up and Throw it on there. And now we got the rest of the tubing finally. Got the rest of the tubing finally. We can uh, start doing the rest of the bumper. We'll start on the rear. Hey, 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 hey. You're not supposed to be looking in here. Officer, who said you can look in here, bro? No, they're taking a pee. I smell. Welding happening. I smell some burnt metal. What are we working on? I'm putting out brackets on. Oh yeah. So here's the second one. He mirrored it off the other one, and it's gonna bolt up where the headlight bolts in. And man, that just looks badass. What you think, Steve? I like it. I like it. And we just got some tubing in. Finally, we got five sticks. Looks like 115 feet, and then I got another 200 feet coming. I'm probably 250 feet by the time we get it all done, because we used 160 feet on the front of this truck, which is wild. So I'd imagine the back bed is gonna take easily 100, 120 feet of tubing each side. And then over the top is gonna take probably another 50 to 80 feet. But she's coming along. We're trying to make the shows here beginning of April. Mr. Steve. Sir. What's you up to? Oh, I just got food to eat. What'd you eat? Starving today, huh? We've got some Burger King, got uh, you a mayonnaise sandwich. I had a Hugger King. And what we got? That's it. What do we have? Did you start tinkering with the new tubing yet? I was going to go ahead and clean all of this first, I guess. There you go. Yeah, that'll, that'll look good. Uh, but I'm going to leave this one spot off right here that, that you were talking about was in the, that you thought was out Oh, before. that one? Yeah. I'm leaving it off so that oh, so you can, can get to the, uh, modify that. Yeah, that'd be smart. For that. That'd be smart. I really like this versus the way we had it. Yeah, I do too. It looks more. That way. When it that... looks more fendery. Oh yeah, when that pipe comes in, I got some six inch pipe coming, we can take this intake off and shoot it through that little yeah. hole right okay. here. Y'all can see that and then bring it and make a little cold air intake. Little, We'll do a little mesh right there and just suck right in there into the turbo. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Looking good. So we got, what, 115 feet of tubing, and I got another probably 250 feet, probably. They're gonna round it up. 
Okay. And uh, have you been using the plasma cutter yet? I, I did cut that out with it this morning, but I was expecting you to show up any time. You have anything uh, traced out to cut or not yet? Um, no, I don't have anything ready right now. Okay. Good morning, Steve. What we got today? So it looks like you would unfill this area in now. Yeah, oh, wow. That, high cover zone, I mean, uh, light guards. That's, that's uh, some serious metal right there. And I started some of the plating on the bumper there, on the back side. Oh, okay, yeah, right here? That looks freaking good. Oh yeah, I see where he did right here, inside the headlight. Yeah. All this area. And I, I took the guard off and the headlight out um, multiple times just to make sure that they went in and out. Easily. Okay, so you can detach this separately from everything else. Right. And then you can attach this separately from that. Okay, right. cool. And then, uh six inch hole for the cold air intake that's going to come from there to there cool man that's going to look that's going to look sweet this all filled up because this uh, this we're going to box this right, right and then we're going to box all that and you're just going to have this come out of a cut hole coming out of the plate and that'll be just one giant one yep. giant bumper yeah that'll be oh you mounted the grill too yeah oh yeah it, i mounted it too it's mounted here Okay. The, Man, that's just, door. isn't it beautiful doing it and just it, simple? Not all that fancy crap they have on these brand new cars. Yeah. Look at that. Just regular bolts, no plastic crap. That's awesome. And we just still got to do one tooth right here on there. We yeah. got the tubing for that. One more tooth on there. And then we're just cutting a bunch of plating now, ain't we? Yeah. Well, I was, I'm having to catch up, catch myself up a little bit from where I and, and mildly welded some, yeah some joints. No, i like how that turned out so are we still going to do the uh the fender top of there or no do you still want to do that uh well i got it over here to look at it mm -hmm. uh, so his idea was to take this fender chop just the edging of it so it'll fill in gaps like this right here and from the this pillar here to the uh hood so it's like a half inch, inch yeah, and a half gap. Much. It's not much at all. Yeah. I'm liking how that turned out though. That's that's smooth. Yeah, I, I like that. It, I, I'm sure it took you a while. Cutting around and getting that right angle. But you can trace that to the other side now easier. Yeah, it should be able to. Yeah, I mean it, it'll be it'll be close enough that that any modifications can be easily made. Okay. We need anything? No, I don't. Uh, water. <laughs> water. <laughs> I got a case at the shop if you want to come get it. Oh. So we're down. Well, we still got uh, two half sheets and a full sheet of 316s for the plating now? Uh, you didn't you you got one new sheet and then two, yeah. half and a half. Oh, new sheet that probably that and that would make up two whole sheets. Oh okay. so we still got plenty. I feel like this front clip is gonna take a crap ton though. Yeah, it's gonna take uh it's gonna take some square footage for sure. What about the fair leaf? Have you got fair leaf? Uh, uh actually I was thinking about that morning. I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let them send me one and get the fair leaf. Actually, if you want, yeah. Well, I mean, I can get one. If you want, if you want to make a beefy one, but I don't want to spend no time on that right now. We'll do that later. We'll just use the factory. Well, not you know the one that comes with the winch. Right. But we can make a badass one out of some like half-inch steel. Yeah. Grind it out, make it more Mad Max looking. And actually, I heard there's a Mad Max movie coming out. May, yeah, they're supposed to be a new midway movie, through yeah. May or something. That'll be dope. And then actually, I'll be uh, in Texas with this at the same time it's coming out. So I'll make some videos of it wow. in the desert yeah. running. Yeah. I'm back and forth what we're going to call it. I think we're going to call it War Rig. Just like that big truck from the movie. But I don't know. Still back and forth. With <laughs>
they got the fender off. So we made everything detachable. Now he's welding up the back side of it. Full seams all the way around, and then we're gonna put it back on there. This is so when we ship it. We don't have to ship it flat all, all the way wherever we're going. It's all removable, detachable, and it can be put back to factory if we wanted to. That's the crazy thing about this build. And then we can armor it up just by bolting everything back in. All these are chrome molly. We probably got about a hundred of them on this truck alone. But all this is all removable as well. After it's plated, it'll all be a removable. Just by these Allen wrenches. Right there. All right, Steve, what we got here today? Well, it looks like you uh, finished up this side. Did a little painting. This is the detachable fender off the passenger side there. Now, what else we got? Next, I'm going to finalize this part here, this corner. We'll just work, we'll just work my way around. So we're going to be plating and work it over to the passenger side, put that last tooth in. And a whole lot of plating and welding. Plating and welding. Yes, it is. 